Korea, Ioana didn't like how Tough was edited. She, she felt like she wasn't uh, portrayed well in the edit of Tough. Was it was it pretty accurate? Did you think it was pretty much how that's how it happened? That's exactly how everything happens there. You know, she said what she said, and they film. You know, all she can do is regret for the rest of her life. But she really said everything, and she really did everything. Let's talk about the first fight because there were a few factors in that fight. Obviously, there were some eye pokes. There's also a headbutt at the end of that fight that had a big effect on the outcome. How do you see this rematch going? And without those factors, do you think that you'll be coming out clearly as the winner in this one? I think Joanna was will try to escape from me the whole time. You know, um, I'm sure she's gonna put her fingers on my eyes like she always does. But. Uh, I'll do my game, you know, I'm ready for this. I, I want the first fight, and I'll show everybody who's the best. I've been thinking about it, and I'm just curious, what do you think about five rounds instead of three? Obviously, you've got a lot of muscle. Are there any concerns about having to perform five rounds instead of the three? If you watch my fights, if you watch my fight with her, I got better in the second and third round, you know? The third round, I was flying. If you had, we had two more rounds there, she wouldn't, she, she couldn't, stand with me the whole time you know so that's what I think she's not use it to do the things I do you know she's not using it to fight someone like me really explosive and strong and I'm sure she will feel that not me. Ioana seems to like to get into her opponent's heads a little bit and she's tried it with you but it doesn't seem to be working so much with you why is that and, and you don't think it'll affect you in the fight at all right? I think the mind game is part of Ioana's game inside the octagon and um, she tried everything with me and didn't work. You know, I just don't pay attention for the, thing, the things that she says. I don't think she says nice things, you know. She, like, nothing that she says get in my head. I don't care about the things that she says. And that might be he bad for her because she needs that to fight well. Claudia, well, given the, the first fight and, and watching other contenders get the championship opportunity, did you feel frustrated at the time that you didn't get this title fight sooner? Or are you happy with the way things have turned out and this is a big card you're on? I'm, I'm, I'm happy, you know, I'm happy the way they did everything. Um, uh, I only had a, one fight after fight here, after fight Joanna. And I think it was the toughest one, you know, Jessica Aguilar is one of the best ever. You know, and they gave me her and they said, if you can beat her, I give, I give you the title shot. So that's what I did. I worked so hard, I beat Jessica Aguilar, and here I am. You know, Alex, to do different stuff at the weigh-ins, what are you expecting from her on Thursday at the weigh-ins? I don't know. I'm, I just want to do my job. You know, I'm not waiting for anything. You know, I'm not training for the things that she does. I'm doing my things. and. You can, she can have a surprise with, uh, from me also, you know. What, what would it mean for you to be Brazil's female UFC champion? What it would mean to me? Yeah. Um, would mean a lot of things, you know. To myself, first, it would mean a lot of things because I've been through a lot of things to be here. It's very hard to be an MMA fighter in Brazil. And to be a fem female MMA fighter, it's even harder. And I'm in the road for a while. I'm working so hard for it for so long and I've been through bad things to be here today. So conquer that belt would mean everything to me. In this past year, how did you stay active with this task in mind of returning and making yourself the champion against Joanna? Um, I think I changed it a lot. You know, I improved it as a, as a fighter. I'm more mature as an adult. and. Um, a lot of things changed because uh, when I fought her the first time, I learned it a lot. And um, I think you lose more when you, you I think you learn more when, you, when you, you lose, you know. So they gave me that loss in my record and that taught me a lot of things. And I learned how to train and to train specifically for each fighter fight that I have in the future. She said that she wants to be a two-division champion, fight at 125. Do you feel that that means she's looking past you for this fight? <laughs> I think she's dreaming too much. A lot of melatonin. So you might have a surprise for her at Wayne's, you said? You may have a little something for her? I never do anything, you know. If you, if you, if you watch my Wayne's and my fights, I don't like mind games, you know. Uh, like I have been saying, you know, I grew up in the BJJ philosophy, and I learned to be very respectful with my opponents 
with the coaches and Yona is completely different than me, you know. So she kind of bothered me with that, and I never did nothing, you know. But if if she if she does things to me, I'll I'll do things back to her. <laughs> what do you think of a 125 pound division for women as it is? There's not one in the UFC. Would you be in favor of, ha of having one in the UFC? You think it'd be a good idea? I think it would be a great idea. Um, UFC and the, the the whole world has some great fighters in this in that division. Some 135ers could fight in the 125 as well. A couple 115 fighters could fight in the 125, like Valerie, mm -hmm. JoJo. You know they look great in the 125. I'll, I'll, I'm so happy to see them fighting in that division. And also we have great fighters in the 135 that can go down and great 125ers as well you know Poliana Botelho just signed with the UFC she trains with me and she's a great fighter I'm excited to see her and other girls in that division. You know, I was obviously undefeated and you were undefeated for a really long time how did suffering a loss for the first time like affect your mindset and how you approach the fight game and her being undefeated do you think that do you think that kind of changes things for her like how she approaches the fight being undefeated? Um, I'll tell you what in my mind and my heart I am undefeated. I never lost a fight in my life. To me, I lost this fight to the judges, not to you. And if you, if you watch this fight a hundred times, you know there's no way she she beat me the first time. You know the only thing she did was that knockdown in the last ten seconds of the first round. If you watch the whole fight, you know I dominated everything. You know, so um, I don't see that loss in my my in my mind and in my heart but it is in my record so that made me learn a lot and made me wanna wanna um, give that back to her. So how important is it for you to not let this fight go five rounds knowing that you feel you lost to the judges and not an opponent and you don't want that to happen again obviously. Uh, I think this changed my my training camps, you know the way I'm training. I'm training to knock people out and submit people instead of, you know, um, winning fight by the points. That's the only thing that changes in, in in my game. But other than that, it's all the same. I'm not gonna be thinking about ju the, the judges while I'm fighting. I'm gonna think about what I have to do in the fight to win the fight.